don't want to blog.com Cause you don't have the time You can focus on your job While we blog, blog, blog for you Check out the website and you'll see Hello, it's Jen Miller And you are listening to Be Seen Blogging The podcast where you learn tips and tricks For improving your website content All in under 10 minutes Today, we are going to be discussing gratitude posts and why they work. As the year closes in, each of us experiences moments of reflection on the highs and lows of the year. We think about the surprises, the people, the milestones, and the experiences for which we are most grateful. For this reason, and many others, gratitude posts resonate with readers. Based on expressing personal feelings, gratitude posts are a key way to connect and mirror life experiences, because even though details may be widely different, we can all relate to stories of triumph, challenge, and vulnerability. Expressing gratitude makes the world a little smaller, and each of our relationships more significant. Showing you are thankful for your clients, coworkers, or the impact a speaker or friend has had on your life makes you more approachable. Maybe there are 101 little things you'd list that make you grateful. If so, write them up in a blog post. You'll find that the more of those you share, the more others will want to bring you into their lives. You may be thinking that gratitude has nothing to do with your business, that it won't help you in search results, and that it has no place on your blog. And if you do, I'd say you are out of touch. Everyone likes to be thanked. Every reader likes to know that you know that they follow you. When you reach out through a blog post and acknowledge others, it shows you care. If you take it a step further and email the post with a special note to your key contributors, whether they're friends, clients, or collaborators, you become more memorable. Be authentic and show some heart. These people will champion you. Explain the milestones you've seen or share a story of how you've helped someone as it relates to your industry. Mention names and places, numbers and goals, write about how you're going to do better in the new year, or explain where you thought things went right in the last year. Share photos and letters of appreciation you've received, maybe even some video testimonials. Explain how those made you feel. You'll find that once you start, the words will flow. I've had some clients use this type of post as the groundwork script for creating a video. You'll find that your audience will appreciate every word and that it will change you too. I love when my clients come back to me with stories of how they met someone because of a blog post. I especially love when clients share a gratitude post and call me explaining that it helped them connect with someone who they hadn't spoken with in years. I've had this experience myself, so I know it works. Last year, a friend of mine suggested I write up a post on gratitude, and it prompted my post finding gratitude in simplicity. I found myself flooded with phone calls and emails from new, current, and past clients and friends. I'm telling you, these posts really work. An added bonus is that they will make you reflect on the goodness you do have in your life. Gratitude plays a big role in my life. As a business owner, I am responsible for the livelihood of our staff. Need Someone to Blog has grown at an incredible rate in the last three years, and as we've grown, our staff has increased and flourished in more than business. Lives have been changed. Some team members have gotten married. Others have announced babies and advanced degrees on the way. Still, more have found that writing is a great tool for focusing as they've gone through some hard personal times. One of our writers took a leave of absence to serve in the Peace Corps in Africa and has experienced life in a way that few can understand. Reading Chris's post has given me an appreciation for sacrifice and for my own freedom that I hadn't felt before. Life isn't easy, but as as a team, we've been blessed. It has been an amazing year for all of us, and I am grateful to have witnessed it. I started this podcast not knowing what it would bring and have been shocked by the opportunities it has given me. I'm grateful to my business coach, Darren, who encouraged and pushed me to launch Be Seen Blogging, even when I didn't feel ready. 
I'm grateful to you, my listeners, for downloading episodes and sharing them with your friends. Because of you, my podcast has reached far beyond what I could have imagined. It's hard to believe, but we've connected with many new clients even due to the podcast launch, and I thank you for that. I'm grateful to live in a country where I have a voice that can be expressed and that I have opportunity to live the values that I choose. My family and friends bring me joy. Life is good most days. Now it's your turn. What are you grateful for? Who can you thank? Start writing it down, and I'll catch up with you next week, unless I hear from you before. You can reach me on Twitter at JenBlogsForYou or through NeedSomeOneToBlog.com. Looking forward to talking to you next week. Need someone to blog.com Cause you don't have the time You can focus on your job While we blog, blog, blog for you Check out the website and you'll see Try it out and become an icon of your industry We will develop a voice for your blog To connect with your 